Welcome back to Shelby This Week. We have a treat for you. We're here with Nick Buckler, reporter, and we're talking about health and fitness. How, what do you have for us? Well, Meg, thanks for having me back. And I know a lot of people are just like me, where they want to kind of be improve on their fitness, mm -hmm. and they just don't know how to get started. I'm going to be training for the Running With Heroes run that you mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. and i just not really in the best shape. I'm kind of more of a couch kind of guy and there's an app called couch to 5k that is good to get started for people like myself so I turned to a certified personal trainer and he's a good friend of mine Todd McLeod and I met with him earlier in the week and he showed me just how to get started what, what do we have to do to get started well thanks for having me on the segment first of all Nick uh, once you have decided uh, that you want to start running whether it be a 5k 10k half marathon whatever it is the first thing I would say you should do is make sure you have a good pair of running shoes. A uh, good pair of running shoes will help protect you against uh, the aches and pains that can come with running. Uh, the easiest way to do that, I would say, is to find a local running shop. There's a lot of good ones in the area. Just Google running shop. You'll find one to go to. What they'll do is they'll look at your walking stride. They'll look at your running stride. And from that, they will help you determine the type of support that is right for you for your running shoe. Excellent. Is there any type of form or anything that will make me more efficient in starting off when it comes to running? Definitely. Before you even start running, once you have those running shoes, you want to make sure that you know the correct running form. Uh, you want to make sure the idea is to be as efficient as possible and burn as little energy as you can. Uh, starting with your posture, you want to make sure you have your head up, your eyes straight, you're leading with your eyes. Uh, shoulders, you want them to be nice and relaxed and loose. You don't want to be tight and tense. Next thing, your elbows, your arms. You want to make sure you're at 90 degrees, palms open. You don't want to be clenched. You want to be relaxed. <laughs> but then uh, if you find yourself in your run, you find yourself getting tense here, getting tense here, just let it all go, shake it out, and then get back to your relaxed running form. I think Taylor Swift said it best and shake it off, right? She did say it pretty she good. Did. She did. <laughs> A few billion dollars worth of saying it. Another important aspect of form is going to be how you strike with your feet. Uh, running long distances, you want to make sure that when you land, that you are landing directly under your center of mass. So along with everything else that we went through, head up, eyes forward, shoulders relaxed, hands relaxed at a 90 degree angle. And also make sure your arms are moving with your stride. You don't want to be going side to side. Outside, you want to be as efficient as possible in, in your running. Okay, that's good to know. Can I still eat McDonald's or Wendy's and just chug pops all the time? Or do I kind of have to structure my diet a little bit? Not all the time. Cheating's okay every now and then. You know, we're all human. Uh, but no doubt, you want to make sure you're getting all your food groups. Uh, you're eating organic food the best you can. Drinking a lot of water and uh, you'll be running a 5K in no time. Wow, that was some really great fitness information, Nick. Yeah, it really was. It's definitely a step in the right direction, mm -hmm. taking the form, the diet, and the app just to get started and do something that hopefully I'll love in the future. Yes, and you are always very fit and active, but this is something else now that you know how to do to help you. Exactly. It's a never-ending repertoire, if you yes. will, and it, it's, like I said, a step in the right direction from a great personal trainer. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Thank you.